Great shot. Love seeing the lodge oh. cam. Me. <laughs> what choice have I got? Wow. 7K. Doug, considering, considering a call, he is very deep with British Bulldog, but he looks like he's raising it up again. Four back to 23K. Should be enough to clear the fields. There's a six. Oh no. Poor Bulldog. The Nick game makes it so that he decides to call with his suited connectors in position. Set Catches for Doug. Middle pair. Back door, straight and flush draws. This is how the Nick game will completely wreck you because this is a spot where I, I, I think British Bulldog would just have folded. And. This board is going to get him into a little bit of trouble, I would imagine. Got to at least see the turn, right, Slick? Absolutely. Yeah. British Bulldog says, no, not only do I have to see this turn, I'm going to oh, raise no. Danger Will Robinson. He raises the 30K. Good to be Doug right now. Doug's getting a chance to get out of the hole. Doug comes along. Chat rooting for blood. I see Moth Hater saying four of clubs, four of clubs. But that is not a very action-y card. Oh my, we're going to continue this ruse. Oh my goodness. Don't do it, Bulldogs. There's a check mark next to Doug. British Bulldog has been up all night long. Thirty. Another thirty thousand. I think this is where Doug goes for all of it. Check jam. I think so. Nope. He's just going to call. So we'll see a river. Boat now for Doug. Sixty six K you would be jamming to one hundred sixty eight. Doug's probably not gonna fold anything that he's continued all the way here with. Do you just save your sixty six K and live to fight another day? I think that would probably be wise because you also have a pair. So if Doug had some kind of like Flush spade draw. draw or something, yeah. yeah, that you would actually win. To be a really specific one, like oh, I don't know. Sure, I would check. So you did. Yeah. Huh. Lot of those. $168,900 pot goes to Doug. We changed it. And I think in the name of the knit slash stand-up game, more people have lost a lot of money. <laughs> Remember during stream week when Brad 
Like, Lost a couple knit games that were $2,000 per player each. It's like $14,000 in knit tax alone. That's crazy. Uh, she does. It's really interesting because it almost doesn't matter how much the money is. Like, I've just seen people go insane for small knit games. Yes. Because at one point I was like, it would be cool to have a really hefty knit tax. But I actually don't think it's necessary because people just lose their minds when it's even $100. Exactly. <laughs> queen high board here. Doug hits his queen. Lance says you should have to pay the dealer 600 too. Interesting thought. The dealers would like that. 18. A little something for everybody on this board. Dan, a little desperate to lose his knit button, takes his second pair in backdoor hearts. That's 1800. Defense. Doug with the easy call. And Jordy is trying to spike that three for a big pot. There's the three, Oh, Jamie. my God. Oh. <laughs> that is a good feeling, Jordy. And it's the nice offsuit three, too. Like, did he pray for that? I think so. Dan wisely shuts it down. Ooh. Doug. It's going to cost you, Mr. Polk. With trips here. It is a spade out there. Board pair. So Jordy straight. Just a quick call. Dan with the knit button. Bet and called. Can't be feeling good about a six. I wonder if he's thinking about making a move. No spade in his hand. Good fold. Jordy's going to take down $18,000 pot. I want to give a special shout out. Happy birthday yeah, uh, to Jerome Teal, a long time there. viewer. Please subscribe to the channel. We promise you one thing that we will bring it strong every show. Every show, are you? Do you ever just chill in the booth? I try not to. Every show, I mean, look, you know, 340 shows in. I try. I was not just to. checking. I, I mean, you sounded like you had a lot of resolve, but I was just testing you. The thing is, you never know who's watching for the first time. Mm-hmm. Both players with a pocket pair here. Queen might slow some things down. Jordy again on the worst of it. Thirty-five, right? Thirty-five. That's your stack work. Thank you. Doug's gonna come along. We'll see a turn. Jordy oh, now. that's so weird. Jordy has a good hand, but the second best hand, that's so strange for this stream. Such a strange Usually he's so lucky. <laughs> this is horrible. Exactly. <laughs> Does turn an open ender here. I mean, the river is obviously a nine, right? I've seen enough <laughs> poker in my life. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> There, he gets the best hand. There you go. Doug, Rivers is set here. Our heart's out there. Yeah, sorry to root against you, Doug, but, like, Jordy really needs this. He's having a really bad day. It's going to be a decent spot for a block size bet, and he does make a fairly small bet. You want to get called by the queens. 
in hands that you beat. And then also, you know when you get raised on the server that your set of 10s is no good. Jordy with the interesting decision of whether to just call or to put in a raise. Front door hearts get in, which kind of sucks for your hand, but... He does have the nine of hearts in his hand. That helps a little bit mm -hmm. for that. But when you're losing this much, do you start seeing boogeyman's behind every door? I'd probably lean toward just a call with the straight here with the front door hearts getting in. Just because if you do put in a raise, what's Doug really going to call with? Yeah. He's likely to even fold his set of tens. Which is why I like this size from Doug a lot. It serves as like a small value bet that would get a queen to call. And he is raising. And it's a good, it's a good block bet. <laughs> Should probably have worked. Get for being greedy. I would have faced something. Yeah, I think if Doug checked that, he would end up calling maybe a lar larger bet than 6K, I would think. What a weird hand. Nines. Ooh. Ooh. Doug yeah. calls his hand. I don't think you have a flush. I think you have either like nines or like. You know, Rick, I also put him on nines. <laughs> Nice raise, man. Jordy got way more value than I would have gotten. Oh, boy. Thick river. She just folded. Yeah, tons. Four. The funny ones have a special place in my heart. I she especially appreciate the ones that I laugh at but can't read um, in public. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> the jiggities for Taras here. Doug's going to call. Let me think. Josh basically has said, I've had enough. I've got 3-5 suited. Some I'm going to race to 2,000. Kelly Shields, regular thank you so much for the super chat. Appreciate those comments. Dude. King for Doug here. He check, right? So it's on Ross better be careful here with his jiggities. What did you have that first time again? How does Terrace not ask Doug what, how much he has? <laughs> <laughs> I would ask every hand after 
after that. <laughs> How much are you playing over there, Doug? <laughs> Just in case it's relevant. Okay, Doug. Check. Okay, Terrace. I'll see you, River. Oh, there's the jack! Oh my God! How? Oh. The river has been so kind to Terrace. So Terrace is either gonna bet like 25k or 211,800. Anything in between is on the table. The two outer. I bet. Oh, shit. oh my goodness. <laughs> $25,000 plaque and Doug snap what? calls it. Oh, God, I didn't bet. He, chose, he has just 25K yeah, or all in where his two sizings go. available. Who? They're asked with the Cowboys. Nobody with anything else. I guess Doug has does have the Doug with flush the straight draw. And flush draw. Let's go. This is a, this is a fun board. A little combo draw. Yeah. Gut Doug shot straight. Gut shot to the seven as well. Okay, it's time to bet. <laughs> There's just somehow only eight hundred dollars in this pot. <laughs> yeah, he killed for the pot. Oh, very. Maybe he just wants cool before um, he changes his mind. I've been in that situation. Mind. It's like the longer you sit there, the more oh, likely you are to change your mind. I didn't actually see how the hand went down. I just saw the I river. I flop by the turn and bomb the river. Oh, shit, okay. Pretty bold. Hey, what are you going to do? I thought I I thought if he had a foot or a hand like that, it would he would it would be tough. But he he seemed pretty confident about it. He didn't think for very long at all. Yeah, he knew. He was like, I'm gonna have to call this. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think Keating gave me the courtesy two minutes uh, wait before he called. That, that yeah. was nice of him. That was nice. Of him. <laughs> those are the moments you those are the moments you don't ever forget. The two minutes of terror. <laughs> Anxiety. No, I mean, if he would have snap called, I would have felt pretty bad. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want the you want the two minutes of courtesy. Yeah. Like he's not like I'm not even aware of the concept. Like okay, no, I'm only beating bluffs. <laughs> like yep, bluff, gotcha. <laughs> you and me. There we go. Doug has a ton of outs. Hmm. Queen of Diamonds is not one of them. I think all hands for the last like 30 minutes are losing balance. Really weird hand, Paris. <laughs> we were playing on the stream last week and we've been playing about two hours or something and some guys whipped a phone out of pocket. <laughs> no idea how we got it in. I think I'm making a real spewy call. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Seven deuce again? Doug, with just a bluff catcher, but he knows Taras can have some weird, just random bluffs in his range. Well, you were, you were in the, yeah, you were in the crocodile crevice for a while. Makes the call with fives. <laughs> Doug's face is so good. <laughs> Look how kings. Okay. <laughs>